at this big old chip mark there oh my god look over here another one and now even look here there's a there's a crack in my bumper well how did this all even happen in this video i'm going to show you guys five tips to prevent this stuff from happening to your mazda miata or quite frankly any car and these tips are very important because they're going to teach you a lot of important things about paint care that's going to help you not have this spring up on your paint oh my gosh well let's talk about it i am even gonna take off this bumper so i can show you guys exactly how these cracks are forming on this bumper because this can happen to your miata as well and it happened exactly on both sides the issue that's causing these cracks are actually underneath the bumper so i'm gonna be taking off this bumper for you guys in this video and showing you guys exactly what is causing these little cracks to occur All right, now that we got the bumper finally off, check this out, guys. So with the ND Miata, they come with these two inserts that stick out from the crash bar. Here's your crash bar, uh, and then right here, you see these? I am not sure what these are, but this is this tape I put there, and there's a good reason for it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. But right around here is where it would protrude out and actually push through the bumper, believe it or not. So it's on exactly both sides where the bumper would actually rest on the crash bar and with it just flexing because it's being pressed against it and bent it'll actually stretch out the paint and bust a hole in your bumper so taking a look down here you can see that indentation where that frame is pushing against the bumper and you can see how it pretty much pressed entirely through Hopefully the camera is focusing right there, but you see that dark spot, especially just right there. It's really just pressing a hole into the bumper and it's on exactly both sides as well. Check this out. Right there as well. So how exactly did this happen? Honestly, I really don't know. What I do know is what caused it and it's these, these pieces of metal sticking out. So by taking the bumper on and off so many times, I might have moved a couple things around, but yeah, I don't know why it sits and actually pushes through on this. And this piece of metal is on every single Miata. So if you're ever gonna be doing work on your Miata, really consider how you're gonna be installing your bumper because the way I did it, it caused two nice little holes to be punched through on the uh, bumper. And now I pretty much regard them as battle scars. I plan to get this bumper repainted. Matter of fact, it's probably going to need to be replaced or at least have a lot of uh, work done to the, the actual bumper itself to get rid of this crack. But yeah, first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys this issue and I went out of my way to take the bumper off of this car to show you guys exactly what is causing it. It's not just the paint peeling, but rather it's something inside the bumper that's pushing out and causing it to be punched through your bumper so if you guys have an nd miata be careful my miata is of course turbocharged to, so we can see actually this nice old intercooler right here so it is definitely sitting much closer to the crash bar there's more stuff in the in front of the radiator and it might be having to do with this issue because there's more stuff here might have been pushing out uh, maybe some things got shifted around and overall, there's been modifications to this car, so I can't say this would happen to every Miata, but still, if you do plan to mod your Miata, you gotta be careful with these things. So what I actually ended up doing to fix it is I took a Dremel and I ground down the crash bar here so that it actually stuck out to maybe around here and it was very sharp. What I did is I ground it down and I put some soft padding over it 
so that it would not cause the issue over here to get even worse. The damage has already been done, but I took some preventative measures so that if I were to get my bumper repainted or replaced, chances are it would not happen again. So really take note of your bumpers, guys. See if any kind of bubbles. What first started with this bumper is that there would be some bubbles forming up here. And then over time, it just grew into cracking and then uh, the bumper started cracking as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's something bigger going on. So I had to take off the bumper and that's what eventually made me realize that it's this stuff right here. It's this big piece of metal. I don't know, maybe you guys in the comments can tell me what this thing does. I know, of course, this is the crash bar. You need this, but this piece is just welded on there. It's like just a slab of metal. Maybe they should get rid of it and get some weight reduction, you know? Tell the uh, Miata engineers that. The second point I want to tell you guys is uh, make sure you get a quality paint job if you are going to repaint your car. This Miata was completely totaled. Uh, go see my first video where I show you guys how screwed up this rear end is and how I fixed it up in my garage. This car is actually a salvage title. It was completely wrecked, shipped it from North Carolina to my house, fixed it up, and that actually required a lot of repainting in the back. And you see here, this paint is beautiful, nice and smooth. I got a quality job on the back here. They blended the paint in very smoothly, no complaints. But on the front, I had to get the front bumper repainted and I kind of went to a shady place and they didn't really do the best job. So compiled with this stuff, we can also see down here on the bottom that the paint is starting to chip down there as well. You can see even here, the paint is starting to peel on the edges, as well as down here, there's a nice old gash in the paint job. Now granted, this is a track car, so I'm not too concerned about the cosmetics of the bumper specifically. I can just get it repainted when I want. But still, I'm pointing out how a poor, what a poor quality paint job could do. You see like some bubbling right there, as well as up here, there's some bubbling. So if you guys are gonna get your stuff repainted, really do it right, go, talk to a professional, talk to your local area, see what people are getting their paint jobs done at because it'll help avoid like such peeling like this, bubbles and all that from appearing. Because clearly the uh, people who did the rear of my car did a phenomenal job. But I went to another place for the front and they didn't do it right. Now the question is, am I gonna get this stuff fixed up? Well, really for me, no, I'm not. Firstly, because, I mean, look, yeah, I know it doesn't look great, but really the goal of this car was not to be a princess and to just be rolling around. This car was going to be tracked. It has been tracked, it's meant to be tracked. Of course, I take good care as much as I can, but if rock chips happen, if, you know, by happenstance, this stuff occurs, really, I'm thinking about the bigger picture of this car. It drives just as fun as it had before. This paint started chipping and it still looks almost as good. Um, it still looks fine from a distance, so really I don't mind. So the third tip I have for you guys for keeping your paint in good condition is to don't tailgate people at the track. This chip up here happened at Willow Springs actually where I was driving behind some people and just stuff, I mean rocks come up, they hit your uh, paint and there goes your clear bra or your, uh, your clear coat. And really that's gonna be permanent and it's actually been getting worse. And I'll tell you guys on the fourth reason why it's been getting worse. But we look over here, there's some more clear coat getting peeled off. At some point I'm gonna have to get this hood repainted but right now it's all right. With this damage, it's gonna need the entire hood to be repainted. So it really doesn't matter if I do it now or later. It just means that let's say more clear coat starts to come off. It won't be a big deal because I still have to get it repainted anyways. So now the fourth point of taking care of your paint is if chips like this start to happen, be very careful with a hose or a power washer because when you blow high pressure right into here, if you're just kind of washing your hood and then you go to this spot and you just glaze over it too hard, you will rip up a huge slab of this clear coat. Originally, maybe it was this size that was chipped, but over time, it became bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is with me being careful, it's grown to maybe three times its size. But if you're really lazy and you don't pay attention, you could rip off just a whole piece like that and you would really wanna get it repainted then because it would look very ugly. 
but yeah. Yeah, so I already touched on this, but the fifth point of taking care of your paint is if this peeling does start to happen, like we see on the hood, like we see on the bumper over here, you're gonna need to have the entire body part or the body piece repainted. There's really nothing you can do about it. So really enjoy it, fine. You're gonna have to get your paint repainted at some point. Who cares, get a couple more rock chips on it. I mean, of course, don't abuse the paint, but who cares if you get some more, maybe a couple scratches on it, because you're going to get it repainted anyways at some point. So just know, when your clear coat goes like this, the sun is gonna leach into your paint because the clear coat actually blocks off some of the UV rays. So this part of the paint is gonna be brighter than this part of the paint. And it's, uh, it's very hard to see, but if you were to strip the entire clear coat off, you would be able to see that this part is brighter. So since this is brighter, you don't wanna just put clear coat over it. It's going to be screwed up. You gotta get the whole thing repainted. Overall, I hope you guys got some value from this video. I took off this bumper for you guys to show you that this thing could end your bumper's paint job. So be careful and uh, yeah, take care guys. Hope you guys learned something and I'll see you all in the next video.